In this video, I'll show you how to create a trimmed foot ring on the bottom of a leather hard pot. Here are the tools that you need. There are a variety of different types of trimming tools. You'll need a needle tool, a wet sponge, and three little blobs the size of uh, a golf ball to hold your piece onto the wheel head. Your pot has to be leather hard though. If it's wet or too dry, it will not work. You center your piece, but before you do so, you're gonna feel the thickness of the base. I'm marking out here with my fingernails where it is thick and where I want to remove. Then I'm going to approximate the middle and place my piece upside down on the wheel head. I'm going to use three balls of clay in a triangle to attach it. Note that I'm press holding onto the pot and pushing down, not into the pot, when I attach it. This is because if I push into the pot, it will distort the edges of the pot and potentially break the rim. Next, I'm going to use a needle tool to trace a line to show me whether or not the pot is centered. I get my wheels moving at a slow speed. Notice the angle that the tool comes to. Okay, so now I'm having a look at it and I see that it's like a millimeter or so off from being centered. I'm comparing the inner circle to the outer edge of the pot. Where it's close to the edge, that's the direction I will move it. I'm removing the blobs of clay and holding the pot in the middle as I reattach them, then using my finger to erase the first line that I drew and redrawing a new line. Now I'm comparing again. Which direction do I need to move it? towards the side where the circle I've drawn is closest to the edge of the actual pot. Here it is again. Tracing a line. Notice that I get the wheel spinning before I apply the tool. Okay, so I'm gonna move it towards the side where the line is closest to the edge of the actual pot, scooching it, holding my pot, while I reattach those blobs of clay, erasing my line, drawing a new line, and comparing the edge of that line to the edge of the actual pot, and moving it towards the side where the line is closest to the edge of the pot. I'm moving it such a small amount each time it's really important that I hold the pot when I'm putting the balls of clay back on, otherwise my pot might move too much. Erasing the line with my finger, tracing a line with a needle tool. Moving it very slightly, holding the pot as I reattach my pieces of clay. Erasing the line, drawing a new line. This is the tool that I'll use to trim. There are a variety of different sizes of this, depending on the size of your pot. You might want a bigger one or a smaller one. I'm gonna hold the tool at three or four o'clock on the edge of the pot surface if I am right-handed and my wheel is going um, that way. If I am left-handed, I would be doing it over on the other side of the clock face at about eight o'clock because your wheel would be spinning the opposite direction. I'm defining the foot edge and changing the angle that my tool comes to the clay, depending on whether I want a vertical edge or if it's coming out. I'm going to lessen the pressure that I'm putting on the tool so that the part that I'm trimming blends seamlessly onto the rest of the body of the pot towards the top. So that's the angle that I'm changing. I'm holding it and then I'm changing the angle a little bit. You can't see this in the video, but I'm supporting my arms really carefully to make sure that I don't wiggle or anything like that. So it's the same as throwing in that respect. Now I'm gonna define the edge of my foot ring. And that's defining the part that I'm gonna keep on the bottom. I'm gonna move from center to three o'clock and not let that tool go anywhere else. It's really easy to lose uh, control of the tool on the bottom but you go dead center 
straight right to three o'clock to do the interior part of the foot ring. Uh, that's if you're right-handed. If you are left-handed, you would be going dead center straight across to nine o'clock, so straight left, uh, because your wheel would be smooth, uh, moving the opposite direction. So I'm using the flat edge of this tool, periodically picking it up to remove the stuff that's in my way, like the little ribbons of clay that are coming off. If your clay is not coming off in lovely ribbons like this, it means that it's probably too wet. If it's coming off like in its goopy or it's really sticky, um, or if it's coming off in like really small shavings or even like a powder, that is too dry and you should stop because you don't want to generate the silica dust in the air. I always do the outside part of my wheel throw or of my trimmed uh, pots before I do the inside uh, foot ring because if I start doing the inside foot ring before I've defined where I want the outside to be, it tends to remove um, not enough clay. My last move is going to be taking a damp sponge and just pressing on the wheel while it spins. Don't try to do this without spinning the wheel. It just creates such lovely uh, slippy throwing lines back on the bottom of the piece and really seals in the raw edge that you've just trimmed. I can use my finger to compress and create a really lovely line if I'd like to as well. And that just kind of seals in the surface of my pot. And here's the finished product. Notice how the inner curve matches the outer curve. That's the goal when we're trimming. We want to make it so that there isn't excess weight anywhere. Here's a little handy guide where you can pause to think about centering. More about that inner curve matching the outer curve. So you want the thickness of your whole pot to be the same all the way throughout. The foot ring should be the same thickness as the body of the pot. And there are a few different styles to how you can trim. Mugs might be trimmed differently than a bowl, for example, or a vase.